Hi everyone, today I am doing a soft romantic makeup tutorial. In this look, I have used a lot of neutral tones with some plum and rose tints. I think this is one of the looks that will just look good on everyone. Starting with the makeup, the first thing I am going to apply is concealer. I am using the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in the shade NC42. And to apply it, I am using a MAC 217 brush. And I am using my finger to make sure there are no uneven patches in the concealer application. Once I've got my concealer on, I'm going to apply a face primer and I'm using the color bar primer here. This is just a lightweight uh, gel primer that uh, smoothens out the skin and it also gives like a nice flawless finish like the pores and the imperfections appear a little smaller when I apply this underneath my foundation. For foundation, I'm going to apply the MAC Match Master Foundation in the shade 3.0 and I'm using an Inglot 21T flat foundation brush to apply this. I love the Match Master foundation because it looks really natural on the skin and at the same time it gives a decent amount of coverage and a really soft subtle glow to the skin. Once I've got my foundation on, I'm going to set it with powder and I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder here. I used the shade 009 Amber and to apply this I have used the Body Shop Face and Body Brush. So I've got my base makeup on and now I'm going to work on the eyes. I'm going to use all MAC eyeshadows for this tutorial. The first product I'm going to use is All That Glitters Eyeshadow which is my all time favorite MAC eyeshadow. I'm using a MAC 217 brush to apply just a wash of this color all over my lid. Next I'm going to use Sable eyeshadow and once again using the MAC 217 brush I'm going to apply this shadow in the outer corner and along the crease line of my eye. So this will just give a little depth and a bit of a soft plummy tone to the outer edge of my eye. Now to add a little more depth to the socket line I am going to use the shade Twinks which is just like a darker version of Sable. And I am going to apply this just in the outermost corner of my eye. To add some natural gradient to my crease, I'm going to use the eyeshadow Soft Brown which is just a light brown color and I'm going to apply this just above the crease to blend out the colors that I've applied in the crease. And the last eyeshadow I'm going to use here is Rice Paper again by MAC and this is just a nice golden highlight color that I'm going to apply along my brow bone and also in the inner corner of my eye. Next I'm going to line my waterline with a brown coal and this is Brown Border by MAC and I'm just going to apply this all along my lower waterline as well as my upper waterline. And to add some definition to my upper lash line I'm going to use a black gel liner. This is Black Ink by Bobbi Brown. And I'm using an angled brush to apply a thin line along my upper lash line. And to add some volume to my lashes, whatever product is left over on the brush, I'm just going to apply it lightly uh, along the roots of my lashes from the inside. Next I'm going to use the Inglot Eyelash Curler to curl my eyelashes and for mascara I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Lash Architect 4D Mascara. What I like about this mascara is that it's not too heavy or too dramatic and it doesn't weigh the lashes down. It's not very soft either like it does add a decent amount of length and definition to my lashes but at the same time it's not too dramatic. And to finish off the eye makeup, I'm going to fill my brows and I'm using the sleek makeup brow kit in the shade extra dark. Using a tiny angled brush, I'm just filling in the gaps in my eyebrows with the brow wax and then I'm going to set it with the brow powder that comes with the kit.
Coming back to the face now, I'm going to use my Shiseido bronzer in the shade 03 Dark to contour my face. Because this is a matte bronzer, it works really nicely as a contouring product. Using a fluffy brush, I'm just running the product under my jawline and next I'm going to apply it under my cheekbones. Next step is blush and I'm going to use the shade Pale Pink by Bobbi Brown. Even though it looks quite cool toned in the pan, on the cheeks it's quite warm and pretty and you can see it has added just a soft flush of pink to my cheeks. The last step is highlighter and I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the shade Bronze. I'm just going to use the two topmost strips from the pan and I'm going to apply this along the tops of my cheekbones. And this just gives a really nice soft candlelit glow to the face. So my eyes and face are done now and the last step is the lips. For the lips I'm first going to apply a lipstick. This is by Chambord and this is the shade 745 from the Rouge Plump range. It's a nice earthy plum color with a bit of a rosy touch to it. I think it's a really nice color for medium to dusky complexions. Even though the lipstick is quite creamy and moisturizing, I'm going to top it with a gloss by Rimmel just to alter the color a little bit and make it a little more rosy than plum. The shade of this gloss is number 550 and the shade name is Lovesick and it's a very pretty berry pink color. It's quite sheer, it's very moisturizing and it's one of my favorite lip glosses. And this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you recreate this look, do let me know how it turns out. I think this is such a flattering look for just about everyone. All skin tones, all age groups can easily carry this look. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you soon in my next video.